Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's uh, Space Simulator. That is in super early access, so, you know, we know things are not entirely balanced here. And with that in mind, let's have a look around and see what we need to do. The first thing I feel we need to do is get this sanitation science on the go. It's something we've been working towards since, uh, well, last episode, so it's time to actually get the science underway. Do we have the correct sciences to make that so? Unfortunately not. There is one more thing we need to do. And if I have a look in the stations here, we need to put our supercomputer up. Uh, I'm literally just going to put it there. I would have liked to have put it a bit further that way, but look at all this carbon dioxide. I, I don't want to break in there yet. That's going to be a bit of an issue when it comes to it. So we're going to let that be a thing. Uh, I want to put some electrical wire in. No, 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 no. no. I want to put some electrical wire in. There we go. That's a lot better. And I also want to deconstruct these things that are still not deconstructed. I was supposed to have got this done last time. There we go. Uh, because we have got a new manual power plant up here. So that's nice and good. That's definitely the thing we want to do. I'm going to go around and prioritize a few of these little jobs that need doing. I'm actually going to... At Actually, actually going to actually, yeah, that's exactly the phrase I was going for. Going to leave this massage table on priority nine because I would like people to deal with their stress as soon as possible. I think that's probably one of the highest things we need to deal with here. Mad Frank in particular. Where are you, buddy? Where are you? You're going to be around somewhere. He's probably doing something. Ah, there he is. Something stressful. Yeah, stuffing his face with food. Uh, okay. With that in mind, this is all going on quite nicely. I want to start thinking about what we're going to do here. Now you can see we've got a load of algae and dirt and stuff like that and I'm feeling this might be a good place to put some sort of exploration um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Airlock. An exploration airlock. Now I'm not sure what doors we actually get access to it's not great, the pneumatic door, but I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put that there. We're going to put a tile on top. Eventually, this will be swapped out for an actual airlock, like a proper, proper airlock, so we don't have to worry about things like that. But I'm going to just drop a ladder down to there. Uh, let's start getting a whole load of stuff. You can see we've got some more algae here. Algae is, of course, number one resource in this game, so we're going to set that up like that. And this should be all good to carry on ticking over. We have a small problem of contamination in our water. That that, that really is a problem that we need to overcome at some point. And another problem we need to overcome is the fact that these liquid pipes cannot be fixed. So I'm going to do this. I'm not sure whether I want to continue this across everywhere. Like maybe turn this into a doorway and we can have a processing unit here and stuff like that. And then, yeah, no, in fact, in fact, that's what's going to happen. I'm going to turn that off. Uh, I don't want to do all. Uh, I want to do, not wire, buildings. Buildings are the thing I want to do. There we go. Once those have been taken care of, we should be able to put a doorway in, and then we'll have, like, uh, dirty and clean water, but very, very separate. Very, very separate. Another thing I want to do is expand my farm. It turns out water and purification stuff, sand, uh, it's very hard to come to come by once you get later on in the game. And the only way to really feed yourself is with these lice loaf or these lice mealworm things. So we're, we're going to try and expand that out if we can. So let's uh, drag this across like this. I think that's good. And we'll also put a set of tiles that way. We're going to get our little sanitation unit on the go there. Of course, we need to wait for the science. No fabrication queued. Fabricate that science, sir. Well, like, the thing is, we don't want that fabricated science. You know, that's almost as bad as fake news. We want real science. Science that comes with, like, observations and analysis and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, here we go. Captain Subs and who's this? Misaligned going around doing the business. Brilliant. Love it. Love it. Is everything else that's supposed to be working, working? It kind of is. I would like to prioritise a high-level sweep. Uh, I think that's something we can do. There's a lot of room in our uh, empty storage bins there. So let's let's just clean up our base, shall we? I think that's probably a thing that happens. I would also like to cut the ladder here and maybe put in another airlock somewhere. I've just noticed my frame rate has just suddenly got quite bad, and I'm not sure why. Maybe it's all the jobs that I've got queued up. I'm going to let these guys run through for a little bit, and I'll come back. And if the frame rate's bad, I will just restart. 
One thing I've noticed, we're getting a bit of a carbon dioxide build up over this side. So I'm going to also, as well as this airlock, put an algae terrarium there. Uh, I would also like to start thinking about how we are going to make this place smell a little better. Uh, we've got, oh, where is it? Is it plumbing or oxygen? Something like that. The air deodorizer. This is something we're going to have to put somewhere. Though now that I take a moment to step back, I'm not actually seeing lots of dangerous gases anywhere other than by the compost. So maybe we want to just pop that there. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Well, it's taken the majority of this first cycle, but we nearly have got everything swept down. But I've just noticed someone's complaining about the lack of food. And I'm not sure if the microbe mush muncher is what I want to do there. The lice loaf might be something to work out. I'm not sure what is needed. It actually needs bottled water as well. Everything needs water to get going, which um, I suppose makes sense. But it's a, a little bit annoying as we've only got this amount of water here, which they can get to if they come down and through. And hopefully they're going to... like like get rid of this bit first i'd also need to put another pump in here somewhere somehow that that is a thing that needs to happen oh don't don't tell me it's the end of the night already so what we're gonna do i think do i pop it down here we obviously want it down the bottom somewhere um I'm going at full pace there. Let's let's slow down and talk about what needs to happen this uh, to the next day. Somehow I need to get people in here to clear this cistern out, or we need to just drop a pump above this contaminated. Oh yeah, in fact that's that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop a pump over this side, and as we lose water, we will move the pump down. I think that's probably the best way to go about it. And I'm literally just going to pop fresh water up there. Might be a little bit of a uh, of a trouble when when we get further on in the game, but for now that. That will do we're gonna have to do a lot of rooting of different things around just to make it all work anyway so there we go that that should all be fine um i don't feel that i'm ever gonna actually need like this wire bridge to keep my power grids separate i just don't think that's ever gonna happen but the air the air jumps where are they liquid bridge pipe that's going to be a thing that we use a lot you just know it's going to be because we want to keep our contaminated and our fresh water completely separate okay are people going to come along and do things here i don't know we're sweeping first that that's a thing uh also i really need people to be doing stuff here as well i think without okay so this is a uh this is still queued up i think with the food shortage i mean we've got six thousand calories still that is quite good but i'd like to prioritize yeah everything is still actually being dealt with Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the food up to six here, and I'm going to put the lice loaf up to seven, and we'll see if they uh, play with that and keep things ticking over. I'm aware that we can print a new duplicate, but at the moment we're having trouble keeping seven people alive, so I think trying to push our way up any further might be a bad plan. Is this door getting sorted? It doesn't look like it is. It doesn't look like it is. It will eventually, of course. This is the thing. Ah, briar bristle. I want to I wanna dig that up if we can. There we go. That... That will enable us to put some more plants down. People love plants. This is something I have noticed. Oh, I mean, just in real life, you know, people do love plants. I've not, I've not, not met anyone that goes, uh, green stuff. I mean, kids and their vegetables. That is kind of what they do. But that, that's the vegetables count as plants. I suppose they do. But when I say plants, I kind of think more of the decorative flowers. Perhaps I should use the word flower instead. Mm. That said, this does just look like a collection of green leaf. So who knows? Who knows? Now, there is a sweep there that I want to have super high priority because that, that's something that needs to get sorted out as soon as this little uh, seed here. In fact, I think we can bump the priority by going, hey, this seed that we now have, plant it up for me. And then someone should get to that job as quick as possible. Now, food shortage is a problem. That, that's fine. I, I can definitely live with the fact that we are short of food. I'm wondering whether algae is the thing we want to turn into food. It's, ah, it's not really what I want to do. It's just dirt and bottled water here, so that, that could be a thing. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure how we're going get, to get more food. People are eating well, though. In fact, we've gone up by a thousand calories, so everything should be okay, right? Things should just keep ticking over nicely. I uh, would like these researches to be a little more higher on the priority list. Let's put these as an eight, so I still have the room for the nine uh, to be to be leveraged, if you will. And yeah, uh, once again, we're at the point where we're going to have to wait for the research to roll in. And we've got what's this? Stifled plants? What's wrong with these? They are overheated. So once we've got the sanitation research underway, I think. Uh, 
temperature control will be the thing we want to go for. In fact, let's have a look. How do we temperature modulation? So we're going to have to start with gas pumping. That's fine. We can set that up after the other science has been done. And to be fair, I would like to take control of my gas situation. I'm not sure about you guys. I find that when the gas gets so terrible, having a gas solution is the way forwards. Stop people hating you, you know? So one of the questions we have to start asking here is where are we going to store stuff now that we've filled up all this... Uh, this storage area over here and I think we're gonna do it by doing yeah by starting making a new room We're gonna make our own room out of nothing. Uh, that, that's what we do It's how we do things around here I'm wondering whether we want to rip down these microbe mushes as well make this entirely our grow space because we could definitely fit more more uh, planter boxes in along here and some more up here perhaps even double tier them up and then we could have a, an entire cookery area over here which would also be pretty good ah cool we're starting to deal with some of the carbon dioxide down here i'm not sure if the one terrarium is going to be enough but we will find out and this should hopefully allow it so that more carbon dioxide falls down displaces all the oxygen back up and then everything should be cool i'm also wondering what to do here i mean we've got some very breathable gas uh, gas conditions up here what are you doing Zach you seem to be lost are you okay dude can, can we help you in any way shape or form I think the way we can help you best is by getting you down from there uh, unfortunately we are now like leaking gas all the carbon dioxide is just leaking out here I suppose that's okay I suppose that's okay. We can definitely deal with it. Oh, look at this. We need to put a proper airlock there. Where is the airlock in there? Pressure management. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's something we can head towards most definitely. I'm sure there was another type of airlock. That's a mechanized one. Where is the manual airlock? I know that that is a thing that we can look for. Here's the decor. It's not in there. D have they taken the manual airlock out? Is that something? Oh, there it is. The manual airlock in sanitation sciences. Okay, cool. That That's what we're working towards, so that's going to be pretty cool. We can get the, uh, the hand sanitizer in. Now, I believe the hand sanitizer takes some of this stuff, bleach stone. Uh, so, how are we going to get there without totally destroying uh, our colony with bleach? I think the way we're going to do it is by putting this up here like that and then running a ladder down this way. And then we can go in through here. Yes. I'm also going to put another ladder in like this. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Because this is going to be pretty nasty stuff when we start breaking into here. Look at all this chlorine gas. I have no idea how we deal with chlorine gas as a colony. It's, uh, it, it's a mystery. It's... Wonders of the universe, you know, no idea how to do it. Perhaps if we combined it with water, we could purify it that way. We'd also make some bleach, right? If chlorine and water makes bleach, yeah? Oh, we, we have someone being under attack here. I'm not sure what we can do about that. Yeah, run away. Run away is definitely the best chance there. Um, Okay, what are we going to do about this? If I click on him, no, come on. You, you look pretty powerful, but I think we can deal with you. Attack! Everyone attack! Who, who's going to come in to help this out here? I don't, I've never even seen one of these before. Uh, overheated burrowing? I'm not, I'm not sure. Are we done? Is it hidden? It may have hid itself somewhere. Are we, are we hiding back in the algae? I'm not sure what we're going to be able to do here at all. I really do need to put a whole load of these tiles down here just to keep this airlock safe. I didn't want to quite go out that far. There we go. Um, okay, I, I'll tell you what I am going to do. We're going to prioritize these at top notch. Um, there we go, like that. Hopefully this should all work out. As soon as we get the tile back underneath this terrarium, it should be able to start making us some more oxygen. I also put a whole load of power in to make it more efficient. And in fact, I'm going to prioritize those pretty high as well. Captain Subs was the man who was on the science up here. Now everything seems to be working all out right. Working out all right was the phrase I was going for there. But, hmm... Where is this? There he is. No one, no one going to deal with him. We're just, just going to leave him. A nocturnal savage, uh, scavenging creature. It will consume any min minerals within reach that fits into its wide mouth. Oh wow! So he's going to come along and eat stuff. Let's let's just keep an eye on what he does. I would like to set the attack. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's an attack. Okay, so in the morning, every, look, he's eating stuff. What's he eating? I hope it's not algae, out of all things. Like, I don't mind if he eats sand and, and stuff like that. Well, no, sand I kind of worry about. But if he's, like, sandstone, he can eat all the sandstone he wants. 
It did look like he'd eaten coal, though, and that is a valuable resource. Okay, this guy is out. I'm going to attack, and I'm also going to red alert. Go, go, go. Everyone has to wake up to go and beat this thing up. There we go. Finally, he's not eating the stuff anymore. Okay. They're, they're not going to like that. That's going to have increased stress quite a lot. But suddenly we don't... Oh, look, meat. Legit meat. What? Okay, how do we sweep that at highest priority? Well, that, that needs to be a thing. Someone, someone come and pick that up. I'm not sure who's on the sweep team at the moment. Um, possibly Atherton. Is that, is that him there? I don't know. That's Captain Subs. It's very hard to keep track of who's who. Forest is stressed. Shocker. Okay, let's come in here and assign Forest to the uh, massage table over there. That should hopefully ease him out, level him off just a little bit. Uh, Forrest got, got the high point there, so he must have been the guy who got in and did some serious business with the, with the hatch. But there we go. Everybody else is now sorted. I'd like to get these done. Mad Frank and Forrest both having a good time there, doing the things that they love best. And there is some research. It was what I was waiting for, if you couldn't tell. Uh, so let's go through here and put a few things down. I think the first thing we need to do is put an air sanitizer right there. I can tell that we've got a bit of bad air here, so I'm also going to put another one just here. And that should hopefully clear out all our air issues. Um, the other thing I want to do, let's have a look. We've got a little base upgrade here. I want to put some manual airlocks in places. So thankfully we can go around and just cancel some of these builds because they haven't really been put down yet. Uh, I'm going to deconstruct that as well. Uh, and we can start thinking about the manual airlock. We're going to put that there and we're going to put this one over here. And that should then keep all our gases in check. So the hand sanitizer requires this bleach stone. So this is going to have to be quite a high priority because almost everybody is a proper grimy, proper grimy. Now, what can we do about the lavatory and shower? Now, I'm going to throw a shower in. Uh, it says I can just build it here. So I think I'm just going to build it there and see if they come through to get me uh, like that. OK, that should be cool. If this all gets built up, I'd also then like to put some uh, lavatories in one. Oh, I can't. Two. I'm, I'm not sure why I had to spread them out so much. And if that's the case, I'm going to put a tile in there. Seal this off from the rest of the world. Because this is probably going to be pretty grimy. I just, I've just got this small feeling that it's not going to be the nicest place in the world. Same to be said about this bleach stone. I'm a little worried about what's going to happen when I start actually digging it out. I'm going to do it like this. Uh, put this through here. Does chlorine sink or float? I believe it sinks. It was used in like trench warfare, right? Because it sank. Uh, that, that was a thing that history taught me, yeah? And people say that you didn't need this stuff. Wow. Okay, insufficient oxygen generation and research complete. So I think the first thing we need to do is set up our next level of research, which is going to be gas pumping. Probably not going to use all the bits from gas pumping because we don't actually have any major... Um, collections of stuff like the, the the carbon dioxide here is getting dealt with the chlorine could be used i could probably looking up here empty this room out and use it as a hydrogen generator i don't have access to the hydrogen generator yet okay so that's going to be a plan for future yeah full of future plans full of future plans but the one i really want to fast track today is getting the uh, the sanitation sorted because that was the thing i was aiming for today Okay, just as my mealwood is starting to sprout, the crew have got super on to getting this sanitation sorted. So I'm going to be super happy when that happens. We're going to go to the plumbing because we need to start thinking about where things go. Okay, this is an input. That's an output. We're going to collect... Mm, do we want to connect all the outputs together or do we need to go down? I think we need to go down if we can. Yeah, it won't let me put that there. So everything is going to have to go down deep until we can get to the points where we can bridge. Now, I happen to know that this is not going to be accessible. So we're going to have to tile over the top here, I think. We can't tile there. Can we tile here? We can. Good. So this is going to have to go like super high priority. Super high. Like that. And we'll, we'll see about getting one toilet hooked up and then we'll figure out how to hook the other one up. The um, 
And the shower is also going to be an interesting thing. The thing I would like to know is, does this lavatory output contaminated dirt, like the outhouses, which are also going to have to get moved at some point? Perhaps this could become the medical clinic? From the medical clinic, you go through to the... No, no, I don't... I, no, that, that sounds totally unhygienic. Probably not the way we want to do it. Uh, so, where are my build team? Okay, I feel like I've connected all the outputs up correctly here. And now I'm going to take my inputs... Drag them up along here. Yeah, that little V shape, uh, C shape was definitely what I was going for. I put the, I've put this further up here and across here, and let's drag it into place. And everything, I mean, it looks a bit of a mess, but I think it should all work out. Why is this unreachable? All right, end of cycle 24. We're getting very close to having the toilets all plumbed in. Uh, there is a food shortage, which is crazy because, like, look at all this. This, this food is ready to go. Uh, the research center is idle, but that's not because... Oh, that is because we're not... Go oh no, there we go. It's because we're only doing the novice stuff, so that's pretty cool. Let's cl click our way back up to full speed. There's still more stuff that needs to be picked up, so I think what we're going to do is put some more storage compactors down. Obviously, these are super low priority. That like no one really. Oh man, super low priority does not mean I put them in the wrong place. There we go. So that this should now bring everything else into into line. This this should make everything work. Let's go a little bit faster here and watch all these get in place. As long as this one can get done, someone, anyone, unreachable, of course. This last one didn't need to be here because, yeah, there we go. Right, let's think about how we're going to deconstruct. I want to just deconstruct the buildings. Oh, 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 just a few too many there, but there we go. Once that is done, that should all be good. And now, hopefully, we can start getting some of this bleach stone. Good, good luck, Forest and Atherton. Going out and meeting the new, new challenges in the world. This is what it's all about, new challenges. So chlorine is pouring out here. Let's put where, where was it? A manual airlock. Let's let's put that there. I don't. In fact, I'm even going to put another one right. Come here, please. Right there. And this should this should contain the chlorine, right? Oh, look at this. This is terrible. Okay, let's put that across there. Did I just see? Aha! Hand sanitizer. Now where would we put it? Would we put it here? in amongst the toilets. Maybe this is what this will now be. Now that we've got these hooked up, let's deconstruct these. This, this might be a little bit too much. In fact, I'm going to keep one just in case. One just in case. Mainly because I don't know what's going to happen when we take all those away and just try and run straight on the lavatory. It says lavatory ready. Okay, that, that should be good. I'm also going to hook up the plumbing for this if I can. Now, this stuff here, this is dirty water. Dirty. So we do that. I've just noticed that we've got a little bit of an issue, uh, but I will sort that out. Okay, that makes a lot more sense now that I've gone around and done that. There's a little bit of a, an orange... That's no, not an orange. There's a redness to this. That I've, oh, I bet that means we've got hydrogen on the... Yeah, look at this. We've got a hydrogen trap up there. Maybe we want to put some permeable gas tiles in here just to let all the hydrogen up there. Because hydrogen floats. You know, it's, it's lighter than air. Wow, look at all this chlorine here. Can we... I'm not sure if this... No, it's only filters contaminated oxygen. I'm not sure what we can do with the chlorine. And I don't think I'm going to until next episode. There we go. People are start... Wow! People are starting to use the, uh, the, the shower. That's cool. Once I've got these hand sanitizers in place, I think we're going to say this has been a total roaring success of an episode. Uh, let, let's get these down. Because it's one of the things that's been really like stressing my people out is the fact that they are so grimy it's something I've noticed amongst all the YouTubers they let all their people get super grimy and are like why are they stressed not thinking that that actually does stress people out after a while I suppose it just goes to show that the uh, hygiene habits of YouTubers maybe aren't quite on par with everybody else Okay, people are much more interested in going around and sweeping at the moment. I think that's because I put these all down as a priority nine. So, ah, oh, I, I would start speaking because I thought I had time to do all this, but it turns out night time came. I'll bring you back in the morning. And with this last build, I will say, look how sanitary my space colony is. We have two plumbed toilets with running water. People who can use a shower, air deodorizers, uh, oxygen recyclers, hand sanitizers 
Oh, oh guys, we have hit everything I needed to do today and I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure. I will see you next time where we're going to deal with the gas flow problems. You can see we've got a lot of carbon dioxide building up there, but our research to be able to deal with that is literally seconds away. So I'll see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!